Hi everyone, I'm so super excited to bring you this video. First, we're gonna take a look at some new polishes that I bought from a new company, new to me, and it's uh, Kathleen and Company, New Orleans, and I bought some Halloween polishes. They came in these adorable little Halloween cartons. I really love those. She threw in some cool Halloween stickers and some Halloween candy, which I ate. So I purchased three polishes. This one here is Salem's Lot. She did a Stephen King collection. And uh, Salem's Lot was the very first Stephen King book I ever read, and I really love it. I also purchased Cemetery Fog. It's got a fun shimmer in here. And Abominable. Now, Abominable reminds me of Goosebumps because there was the Abominable Snowman or something from Pasadena. I don't remember. But anyways, it reminded me of that, so I purchased it. So let's take a quick look at these, and then I'm going to do some fun nail art. This polish is called Abominable, and I hope I'm saying that right. And it has this really pretty blue shimmer. I have a couple coats on this swatch stick, but I'm going to show you it swatched on my nails. All right, I have my base coat on. Let's see what two coats looks like. Actually, I don't think, I think actually three coats will be fine. Yay. After two coats, you can slightly see the visible nail line. So I'm going to add a third thin one. Actually, I usually use thin coats just so that the polish layers dry quickly. Here is three coats and three coats with top coat. At some angles, it looks kind of like an off-white color, but then at other angles, it looks kind of like pearly white, and it's got a nice blue shimmer. This polish is called Cemetery Fog, and in the bottle, it looks like it's got like a strong green shimmer, but when you turn it in different ways, you can see pink. I'm thinking it's just pink and green. And here it is on a swatch stick. And now I'm gonna show you what it looks like on my fingernails. Okay, here's the first coat. I always end up like, I don't know, putting such a light coat on, thin coat. I think that one's better. So that's the first coat. Now I'm gonna put a second coat on. I think it looks really good in two coats. And this one is called Salem's Lot, and it is my favorite. I love purple. It seems like it might have some multi-chrome things going on because at extreme angles, you can see different colors. And it is a magnetic polish. So I wanted to show you like the crisp cat I look here in the bottle because I will not be showing that on my nails. I prefer the aura look, so we're gonna go with that. And here is a couple of swatch sticks. One is magnetized. This one is magnetized in the aura style that I really love. And then this one is just plain. I didn't magnetize it at all. And it's 
it's still very beautiful. So let's take a look at these on my nails, or this one on my nails. I'm going to do some of the nails in the Aura style, and some of them I'm just going to leave not magnetized. So I'm going to do the not magnetized ones first. I guess I could have done them last and let them dry because I don't want the magnetic to be moving the particles around when I'm trying to do the other nails. So these are the two nails that will be unmagnetized. Now with magnetic polishes, you know with any polishes, you want to shake your polish bottles up, but especially every coat you do, you want to shake the magnetic ones up so that the magnetic particles are mixed in really well. This is going to be good in two coats. You want to get a good kind of thick coat, thickish coat on your nail for these magnetic polishes because you want it to be kind of wet so that the magnetic particles can kind of swim around, move around, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> and to do the aura style, you just kind of hold the side of your magnet like this. There we go. I usually just do it on these, this side right here like that. And then you can kind of see it's got this real glowy effect. Kind of when, kind of like when you do that sharp cat eye thing and then <laughs> after it dries, it kind of dissipates. Kind of the similar thing, only it kind of covers the whole surface. I really love how it looks. The last step to magnetizing magnetic polishes <laughs> is the top coat. So you do want to magnetize magnetize it after you put a top coat on. Anytime you get the polish re-wet, the particles will float around some more. So you want to you want to magnetize that again after you get it wet with the top coat. I find it with the Aura style, you don't actually need to hold the magnet on it that that much for that long because it kind of, just the way it is, it kind of dissipates itself. So here is the finished manicure. So we have two nails not magnetized, which actually just look purple. And then the other two are kind of, you know, they kind of glow and maybe... You can see it's shifting a lighter color purple. And with this particular polish, you can see a lot of different colors in it in different lights at different angles. So it's super, super fun. Now for the nail design. I'm using Cemetery Fog as my background. I was playing around a little bit with um, Abominable. And here's Abominable over white. I was just curious to see what it looks like. But I think for the most part, it kind of looks kind of yellowy. So anyway, um, so here are... Here's Abominable, and this one has Hollow Taco's 
glow-in-the-dark taco over the top of it. So we're going to make a couple ghosts. We're going to use my new favorite tool, my little um, ghost paper punch here. And we're going to punch one ghost out of each of these. I have two ghosts and I have to make little faces on them. I don't know how this gets so dusty. <laughs> tell you, I clean this off like every day. Let's see. Let's find the... Okay, this is the right side. And... This side is the glow side. I have to find that out. Actually, not sure what side is the glow side because uh, this little ghost here is going on both sides. So I'm going to take a pointy dotting tool to make two light little dots for the eyes. Oh, I got it crooked and a little well. Maybe he could be tilting his head. And this one, I'm gonna get a couple of eyes. This one looks much better, but he doesn't have any glow. I think I'm going to use him anyway. I guess we just won't do glow in the dark. I actually had enough of the glow in the dark piece to make another ghost. So we've got a glow in the dark ghost. We can continue with the glow. We're also going to do a little bit of stamping. And I'm going to put some sticky base coat on top of my nails. Let that sit. For a couple minutes and then I can do some stamping as well. I'm going to put a moon over here and then I'm going to do a graveyard or cemetery over here and I'm just gonna put a little bit of black at the bottom is that um, don't really come out that stamped image didn't really come out real great All right so we have that so that's ready to go want to make the moon glow so I have a teeny tiny little brush here and I'm just going to brush over the stamped image with um, Hollow Taco's glow in the dark top coat. I think that looks pretty good. Okay, here's the glow in the dark ghost. Put that right there. In the cemetery. And I'm just gonna clean off this little arm hanging over the edge. There. We go. 
Now I'm going to put a smudge free top coat on just working with this nail first because I have these little bats. And these are the Hollow Taco Safia Bat Glitter. I kind of bent them a little so they kind of you know curve to the nail a little bit better. And then we need a smudge free top coat over here to smooth the bats out. I'm putting a glitter smoothing top coat on. And when all this top coat is dry, I'll put Max's top coat on. Now I'm just topping everything off with my Maxis top coat. So here is my finished Halloween spooky inspired cemetery nails. And I love the green shift on this um, cemetery fog nail polish. The little ghost, you can see his blue shift. So that's pretty cool. But I think it's super cute with the glow or without the glow. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so, so much for watching and bye for now.